This week on The Good Life, we talk about body cleansing and detoxification. I'm your host, Anita Pasadweb, and this is The Good Life. We're here at Proactive Lifestyle, the dynamic health and beauty store that sells a wide range of healthy products for living a greater life. I sat down with Ann Thompson, the general manager at Proactive Lifestyle, to talk about detox and what it involves. So what is detoxing? Okay, well detoxing is eliminating poisons and chemicals from your body, right? Because that's what toxins are. Toxins are poisons and chemicals that are in the human body that are known to cause harm, right, and other disorders and diseases, right? So any method of eliminating waste, right, from the body is a form of detoxing. So how would I know that, you know what, I should go and get a detox? What, what are the signs? Okay, that's a good question. Well, the important thing is that you don't need to know, you don't need to feel that you need to detox. One should have a detox regime. Right, so for cleansing, for instance, one should cleanse at least every six months, right? And that's the colon cleansing that we're talking about, right? That one will remove the physical waste from the body, as well as um, clean the other areas like your blood, right? And it will take um, the waste from the colon walls, right? So we don't need to wait until we see signs like things on the skin, mm -hmm. right? Or if we feel too tired, because these are some of the symptoms that one may feel, right? When they, 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 they need to cleanse. But we don't wait until we feel something. We should have a regime that we do. So what does detoxing or cleansing involve? Well, there, there are many different methods of detoxing and cleansing. Mm -hmm. You see, one of the thing is that um, you can do a simple cleanse by going on a, a fasting, right? Say a fruit fasting, and that is a method of cleansing your body, right? You can do the colon cleanse that we talked about earlier. You can do a food detox. You can do um, a water fasting, right? There are different methods of detoxing the body, right? And they, they, there are numerous ones that persons can just, you know, do a little research on and just choose from that based on what your body can manage. How long would you say I should detox for? Is there a, like a time frame or is there a time limit? Do you not go over a period of time or should you stick to whatever is recommended? Okay, well, in terms of length of cleansing, mm -hmm. that one would depend on the person and the method that you choose, right? Because for colon cleansing, mm -hmm. our colon cleansers can last from anywhere, like say seven days to 10 days. Right, and that is what we, we usually suggest that persons stick to that. Okay, you have like the teas when you're detoxing. There is no limit on those really. You can do those whenever, right? If you're gonna do a fasting for detoxing, we have to remember that when it is that we are doing a fast, the body is lacking in certain nutrients that we should and usually have in the diet. So the length of the fasting, right? Say like a water fasting or a fruit fasting, we shouldn't do it for very long to the point where we start to lose um, interest in our work or we have no energy to do work, okay. right? So we should, it depends on the individual. We need to you know, consider our daily activities as well as our regular diets when we are doing these, right? And so that's, that's when we can actually put limits on them. Because we have to be realistic. We can't last forever on a fruit diet or a water diet, right, for cleansing purposes, right? So we have to be realistic. When would be the best time for me to start a detox? Well, the best time is any time actually, right? You can start it right now, right? Because one of the things is that a lot of persons we find, they have no clue about detoxing, right? Some persons don't even know that just taking simple things into the body, right? Say fruits. If we buy fruits, no matter where we get them, right, and they are grown with with say pesticides, right, to keep the, 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 the insects away, mm -hmm. right? When we get those and we wash them with water, some of the, the times there's still residue on them, yeah. right? So we have like food grade peroxide, and that is what you would use to wash your fruit or your veggies or whatever it is that you are cooking that was exposed to that, right? And that will take it away, 
right? And so that you'll get, you know, you'll eliminate that from your diet. Because one of the things that you will see as well is that when we do the screenings, right? Some of these things show up, right? Persons may have pesticide residue in the body. And when you ask to say, you know, how could you have gotten it in there? They will tell you that um, they probably live beside a farmer or they're a farmer or their diet is high in vegetables, right, Amita? So that is how we know that, you know, these things are important, right? And health, you know, everybody knows that health is important because if you have health, what do you have? If you don't have health, what do you have? <laughs> you don't have health. Right. So it is important and we encourage it is one of our biggest things here. We encourage detoxing because, you know, from just stepping through the door, persons would come in to say that there are different things that they want to accomplish and we go right back to detoxing, right? Because as we said earlier, your nutrients might not be absorbing, you might be on vitamins, different supplements, body not making use of it because we simply need to detox. And you'd probably say you should probably consult a doctor too. Well, you usually, you we always, no, we always, we <laughs> never encourage persons to come off their medication because one of the things you see, Amita, if someone comes inside Proactive Lifestyle and they cannot tell us that a doctor has told them that this is wrong, there is no way we can assist, mm -hmm. right? A person has to know what is wrong. Right, for, and the doctor has to diagnose you for us to be able to assist that person. Okay. Right, so we encourage persons to go to the doctor, we encourage persons to do their screenings because they are important, right? And we encourage it and just as we encourage periodic cleansing, we encourage persons to do their screenings periodically because some of the times things are building up in the body and you don't know about it, mm -hmm. right? And if you don't know about something, how are you gonna treat it, right? And when we find out it might be at a stage where it's more difficult to deal with than if we had known before, mm -hmm. right? So we encourage screenings all the time. What would you say are some home remedies for digestive cleansing? Okay, well, you have home remedies that you can use for digestive cleansing such as lemon in your water, mm -hmm. right? Because lemon is alkaline, right? So you can put that in your water and it reduces the level of acid in the stomach, what about right? Lime, or is lime is acidic. Lime? No, lime oh. is acidic, right? So lemon is alkaline, lime is acidic. And we, we are careful to make that distinction because persons generally think that they are. I think I same. can replace my lemon with lime, but that's not the case. Not for, no, not for this purpose, okay. right? So you have that that you could do as well. You have like Epsom salt. A lot of persons use Epsom salt, right? You can consume a little. It works as a laxative, so it will help you to go to the bathroom. Consume a little, like how much? Mm. Like about a half teaspoon. So how much water? To your regular size, eight Probably ounces. More. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. there about. And you can, you can soak in it as well, because it's good. It's magnesium sulfate. It relaxes and you know, helps you to produce the serotonin for... Um, to, I guess, soothe you. Soothe, mm -hmm. right. Um, you have other methods of um, detoxing that you can use as well as like your green juices, right? So you blend up um, your greens and you have that as a method of detoxing too that you can do at home, yeah. right? And always remember that you have cleansers, colon cleansers that you take home and you do it for a week or you do it for 10 days or you can split. Right, split it in days however you want and that will give you a good detox as well. Is there any advice that you have for anyone that wants to do a detox or you know, take on a cleansing process? Well, yes, right, we encourage it every day, right? It's important as you know, we take in things every day in the body and some of the times not everything comes out, right? The body is made to, you know, detox itself, but based on our lifestyle, on our diets, you know, we, we think that the body is needing some help. So that is why we encourage detoxing. And for anyone who wants to start a detoxing cleansing program, you know, they, we encourage them to come in and talk to us. We are here. We offer free advice, right? So just come on in. Thanks, right? Anne. You are welcome and thanks for having us. Alrighty, so we're going to take a break and when we return, we're taking a foot detox. Stick and stay, you're watching The Good Life.
Welcome back to The Good Life. Detoxing through your feet can be an effective and easy way to cleanse your body. Today, I'm a proactive lifestyle where Natasha Steele will be giving me my foot cleanse. Hi, Natasha. Hi, I'm Nita. And you'll be doing my foot detox? Yes, I will. All right, so what am I supposed to do first? You can have a seat here. Have a seat, okay. All right, so the foot detox is all about cleansing of the system. The reason why we use the feet for the foot detox is because the feet is connected to all the organs in the body, mm -hmm. so it's the best way and the safest way to pull all the toxins as, at once, all right? right? I'm going to place some hot water in the pan to make it lukewarm. What the warm water does is open the pores in the feet to help the toxins to flow. Also, I'll place a little sea salt. The sea salt is what helps to pull the toxins. It helps the array to pull the toxins from the body. You won't really feel anything much. Some persons say they feel a little tingling sensation, but you won't really feel anything at all. You'll only see the water starting to change depending on where in your body the toxins are coming from. So each area sends off a specific color. Each time you come and do a detox, we'll, you'll return the chart so that we can jot down your reading for the day. Right? This is the ironic device that we'll be using to do the detox. It has three attachments. One in which is the array magnet itself, which the, is activated sorry, by the sea salt. The other is for the waistband that will get warm. What the waistband does is help relax you and help with the flows of the toxin down to the feet. And then we also have a wristband. This one just monitors your pulse. Okay. Okay. All right, so talk to me about the colors. Well, the different colors, you have black. Black is for persons that normally smoke or have a, an, an enormous amount of heavy metal in the body. Heavy metal, heavy metal is basically caused from pollution, pollution due to smoking, gas fumes, or etc. We we'll also have brown. Brown is for liver toxins. The green represents the gallbladder toxins. For persons that are not using the bathroom regularly or not drinking enough water, you'll see green come out in the water as well. You have orange for persons with joint pains and joint inflammation. Also, it helps to pull red, basically blood clot from the body as well. Also, there is dark brown. Dark brown is if you have a backed up colon, where in which you would do a colon cleansing, we we'll have the capsules that you'll do for a 10 day period. Mm -hmm. Also, you have yellow green. Yellow green is for like kidney to gallbladder. So it goes back under the green, where in which if you don't drink enough water to detox the gallbladder. Mm -hmm. Also, you have white foam. Normally, persons with like sinus problems or allergies, you'll see the white foam or the mucus actually clumps in the water because it pulls the sinus from the body as well. Also, you have white cheese-like particles. So most females that are troubled with yeast infections, it helps to pull the yeast from the body. Also, it helps to pull cholesterol from the body. So at times, you will see oily substance cluster on the top of the water. Oh. Yeah, and also you have the bubbles that would represent weak immune system or a digestive system. So we have multivitamins and supplements for each and every area after you do the detox. Would it change throughout? Yeah, man, as it goes along, the water will change depending on where in your system is toxic or where it's finding toxins. So would you, can you go from like black to green to orange? Yeah, man, red? you can. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. All right, so the yeah, color now is showing that you have dark green, so that's showing gallbladder toxins. Okay. So either you're not drinking enough water or you're holding up the urine, so what you can do is drink a lot of cranberry juice to flush the gallbladder and make sure that you're using the restroom on time. Also, the bubbles here represent that you have a weak immune system, mm -hmm. so you can take like some vitamin C's or echinacea to help boost the immune system. Do you have sinus or any, or any allergies? Probably. Okay, so because I'm seeing clumps of mucus here. Mm -hmm around the edges so that shows that it's pulling mucus from the system as well and then you have the orange color that represents the joint so naturally everyone will get toxins pulled from the joints because you know we walk around every day and we do all sorts of activities so we do recommend six sessions for the detox why I recommend six sessions is because one session alone won't pull all the toxins from the from the body and depending on your environment the toxin, the level of the water does change in terms of the different colors that it shows and the different toxins. 
All right, what I'm going to do is place cold water. We use cold water to close back the pores. So you rinse the feet in cold water, then I can remove the stuff for no you. Problem. All right. After my foot detox, which was really interesting by the way, it was time to do my health status and bio age screening. Okay, Amita, you were in our service department just now finishing up your foot detox. Okay, I hope that was good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So we have two more services in this department, the health status screening or magnetic screening. That's the one that we're going to do now. And later you'll be doing the bio age screening. Right, so the health status screening will scan your entire body. Mm -hmm. So all your organs, liver, kidneys, lung, everything. It is basically saying to you that not because you feel well, mean you are well, okay. right? Things could be building up in your body that you have no clue about as yet. Right. Because before we feel the symptoms of an illness, the body has been getting sick a long time before. Okay. So this device will actually tell, tell you what might be happening in your body. Okay, Amita, now that you have done your health status screening, you're going to be doing your bio age now. Right, so it's telling you the health and fitness of the cardiovascular system. Okay, Amita, your test has ended, mm -hmm. right? And here are your two printed reports, okay. right? So your biological age, from looking at your results, it's a little bit higher than your calendar age, mm -hmm. right? Usually at this point, we, you know, go into a person's lifestyles in terms of what they do oh, to I contribute to this. It is four years higher. That's fine. That's <laughs> We're going to take a break. When we return, I'll be heading over to the juice bar here at Proactive Lifestyle. Welcome back to The Good Life. So I'm here with Dean Thompson, who's a supervisor here at the New Kingston branch of Proactive Lifestyle. And we're going to be making a protein shake. All right, welcome to the juice bar. Ah, thank you. All right. So I'm going to put this on the next thing. thing. Exciting. So what type of shake will, be, will, will we be preparing? Uh, today we're going to prepare a meal placement protein shake. This is the most healthiest meal on the planet and the most beneficial. Okay. How often should I have um, a shake, a protein shake? Right. We normally recommend you replace a meal each day, preferably dinner, right? You can have breakfast, you have lunch. The reason is this, anything you eat at that time in the morning, it will burn. When it comes down to like five, six o'clock, the metabolic system slows down, and that is when you don't burn. So that is so. We so we recommend you replace dinner. So first, we're going to start by adding the fruits. Banana is rich in potassium, as we know. So we we'll start by adding one banana. We we'll add one slice of pineapple. Okay. We're going to add one scoop of ice, which is optional. It is optional. You can you can have it you can have it as is. You can have it warm. You can have it cold. It depends on what which way you choose. Okay. But that is optional. All right. So then we add three scoop of oats, which is soluble fiber. Then we're going to add one scoop of whey protein. This is the most important part of the shape. Yeah. And then we get to our seeds. All right. This is sunflower seed. One of the most important benefits of sunflower seed is by the cells that form cancer. Then we have our flax seeds, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which is good for the joints, the cardiovascular health, and it also helps to burn fat. Then this is our pumpkin seed. Uh, pumpkin seed is very good for the male, for prostate health, to yeah, prevent prostate cancer. And this is our soy. Soil? Well, we normally it's use a milk, milk base to replace the milk. Okay. Because as you know, most people are allergic to milk. Oh, 
to dairy. Then we add water. just a little water to get the blender started so the blender doesn't choke at the bottom. Not a lot of water. No, not a lot of water. And then we are ready to go. So now a meter that's 230 seconds. That's so yeah, so our shake is ready to go. It's thick, but it is good. It's like porridge. What other shakes can we make? Well, with the green juices, is, with the green juices as well, but the green juices is a detox formula. Um, can I replace two meals a day with shakes? You can. can. Can I replace three meals a day with shakes? No, we don't advise to replace breakfast. Why not? You need that every meal in the morning to kickstart your metabolic system mm -hmm. and to give you a bit of energy. Once you reach 40 going up, you start losing muscle mass. So you need that protein to maintain the muscle mass. Mm -hmm. And we recommend people, it is also people who are going to the gym, protein is, is, the, is the most important thing you need. Protein is what repair and build muscle tissues. Hmm. Alrighty. Thanks, Dean. You're welcome. You know that we are living in a very toxic world, so it's probably a good idea for you guys to get a cleanse once or twice a year and live a proactive lifestyle. I'm your host, Amita Pasadweb, and you're watching The Good Life. Until next time, see you soon.